Welcome back guys. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about patchy NiFi templates. Uh, I think it's important to talk about the templates in the beginning of the NiFi course because they are very uh, often used and we're going to pass uh, knowledge I would say or assets between me and you guys via github requesters to the intermediate uh, templates so NIFI offers this concept of templates which makes it easier for users or developers to use reuse and distribute NIFI flows um, and this can be used by other developers and you know the NIFI installation as long as they're, sit they're sitting on the same version and they share the same components. Uh, so, with no further ado, let's jump into it and demonstrate how we can create uh, uh, a template, how we can export a template, and how we can import a template. So basically, to create a template, you have to have a process processor on your canvas. You could basically, if I would go here and let me just remove this process, let's say, uh, we can create a template from an empty uh, canvas now. You see, there's no current selection. It's not a valid to create a template. So basically, that's why I said you have to have a processor. Uh, let's, let's give it an example. Let's take this one and then say create template using this one. So we can basically create a template out of a single uh, processor or a process group. So for this example, let's go and just create a template using a process group. So I'll say this uh, demo template. That's going to be my processor name. And let's add two elements to this one. We're going to say generate a generate flow file and then log attribute. Basically, we can link them together. It doesn't, and we're going to disable it just for the purpose of having this template with no invalid uh, uh, components. Now, to create a template, basically you click on the, the processing group that you want to template or create the um, composite of the template. Click right and say create template. Now, you have to give the template a name. Ideally, you want to give the same name as your processor if it's a single processor. Or if you have, let's say, two of this process. So, so just to show you guys what I did, I just click on it. I control C and control V. Pretty much same action as copy paste. So right now I have two temp. I have two processing groups, but they're this distinctive of templates because I could pretty much shift, drag, and select both. Click right and say create template. Now this will create a template that will have a composite of two processing groups processor group so let's go and say uh, template or temp one and you should give it a description so this is going to be my description cool now we save it and template was uh, successfully created if i were to delete both of these assets here and let's say oh i want to restore that work right now one thing, if, if the template is already in this instance, the way you can do it, you could pretty much go here at the top uh, level uh, or where you can see template, drag it on a canvas, and then we're going to get a list of saved template on our instance. So we have the stamp one. So boom, now we have them. But let's say, um, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and remove this one and go to our... Uh, burger bun here burger menu click on it and navigate to template you see we have template here click on it now we're going to get this drop down window where we can filter just check our template let's download this locally so you want to go to this uh, download button this is going to download in my local host and i'm going to go and delete delete it right now so now we don't have it on an instance NIFI. How will we bring it on? So the way you do it, you want to upload the template first. So you see here, when you click right on your canvas, you have an option of upload template. So now we're going to select the template. 
it's going to ask us okay where do you where is the where's the template that you want to have now we're going to look for it i'm going to go to my temp xml and upload it it will give me a message that yes template successfully imported but he's not going to put it on the canvas so that's my next job to do so what we're going to do next we're going to go back to our top menu template and create uh, this choosing this template so add template and that's how you export a template from your local host from your inst nifi instance to your local so basically you download it and uh, also you can import it using the upload template another option to let's say um import export a template it through the medium of nifi registry but that's going to be at the level of the process group um, i won't be able to do this two at the same time unless i have them into a uh, setup like this where i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna click on both of this one so let's select them both and drop them inside the and now with this new processor group i can say okay start version control but since my registry is not up and running um as a matter of fact let's go ahead and do that really really quick so what i'll do here go down because i know it's in my opt uh registry uh, and go to binary nifi registry.sh i know he's gonna complain about sudo all right uh yeah i i got i gotta start it right <laughs> sorry about it uh so basically we already have set up in our previous tutorial we set up this uh control setting that points to our registry client but the service was not up so now that we have the service up and we can actually uh let me just go to this and say local uh, and go to my nifi registry yes the service is up and running if we're going to go now here and we say hey i want you to start version this so version control we're going to put it in this demo bucket then it's going to be what was it the new so let's call this as new cool we're going to refresh he's telling us hey you have this version so basically i can go ahead and delete this processor here and now <coughs> since the nifa registry is up and running we have this particular option when we're going to upload the template. Actually, no. When we're going to create a new process group. So he's going to ask, hey, what do you want to create it from? I want to import it from the registry. So we go here. Our bucket is demo, but the name of it, it's new. I'm going to choose that version, which is the only version. And voila, we have it with both components in. Cool. So just as a quick recap, we went over how we can create a template, export a template, and then import it uh, from our local. And then as a, final, um, as a final demo, we went over how we can persist a, a processor or a sort of a template uh, into NiFi registry. And then how we can use NiFi registry to import that into our NiFi instance. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you in the next tutorial. And by the way, all the resources will be in the description in my GitHub, GitHub repository. Thank you and I'll see you next time.